Hey everybody, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to enable SSH and we are going to uh, install open server, uh, open SSH server in our system. So the idea is that your Ubuntu, uh, if it has, if, if it is a SSH client, then it can basically connect to any SSH server out there uh, using the command using a simple command it can connect to any uh, of the SSH server and it can use the operating system remotely okay so you can make in a remote server uh, you know changes whatever changes you want okay so in order to know that if SSH is installed or enabled on your system uh, you just write here SSH and if you see you know uh, things like that then it means that you are an SSH client client or your machine is an SSH client S simply if you want to connect your machine to a remote machine and you want to use it like any server out there which is you know um, you, hundreds of miles away from you even you can simply do that by writing a command like this ssh then the username of that server then the uh, ip address of that server and then if there is a special port then you can write here that port like this okay so this is the command that you would use to connect to the ssh server remotely so what we are gonna do that we are going to in this video uh, for this video we are not going to connect to any remote host and use that you can do that okay uh, but we what we are going to do that we are going to connect to our local host it means that we are going to connect to our own machine and we are going to use our own operating system okay so that is going to be interesting so uh, if you want to know that if SSH server is installed and enabled on your machine so what you need to do that you're you need to write here ssh and then localhost okay you hit enter so it says that connection refused okay so connect to host local host port 22 so connection has been refused so what you can do that you can install the open ssh server on your machine by using a simple command let me use it sudo apt get install open ssh server okay you hit enter it asks you for the password you give the password and okay i hit yes and now it starts to install the open ssh server on uh, on my machine so once it is installed what we are gonna do we're gonna check it if it is like installed for real and then we'll try to connect okay and after that uh when we when we connect uh if we connect successfully then i'll show you that how you can change ports if you want to okay so like if you want to you know maintain a special port for sss server on your system you can do that as well okay so no other person if someone even knows your username or ip address uh, they have to specify that special port right in order to connect to your system so now let's go ahead and let's check if ssh server has been installed and it is enabled so ssh localhost so now you can see that uh, we have it here so the localhost uh, the so if you want to establish a connection to your own machine then you write here yes so when we write here yes it asks us for, for the password of our machine so i'm going to enter password of my own machine and now you can see that my system is now connected to my operating system so i can use my own operating system right now and i'm using it as remote so similarly you can use another operating system on some other machine as well uh, before that if you want to know that if the uh sss service is enabled and it is running so you would simply write here service sss status we should have checked it you know before but it's okay so sudo service ssh status 
and you can see that this service SSH service is running and it is active all right so we have you know uh, learned about services in some previous video i guess that was video number 36 or 37 maybe i'm not sure just go back and just you know take a look at that video as well so now what if you want to change the port if you want to specify any sort of port so how would you do that so you write here sudo nano and then you write here slash edc slash ssh slash sshd uh, and then config okay so i'm not sure if that is a hyphen or underscore so let's just try it yes i'm right so right now you can see that uh, we have here the uh, port number as uh, 22 so if you want to change it you can simply uh, change it to any other port but i want to keep it the same so i would just simply um, exit it so that is how basically you can change the port if you want to so in this video we have learned how to enable ssh how to install the ssh server and how to check that if ssh server is running or not and even we have checked that how can we change the port so that's it from this video i hope you have enjoyed it you have liked it you have learned something new this is linux in training course and i will see you in the next video